but 60,000 feet flying at 835 miles per hour. As Discovery approaches the heading alignment circle in front of the runway, and adjacent to its extended center line, Commander Pam Melroy will be flying Discovery around that imaginary cylinder to set up for the final approach at a 195 degree turn to the right. Four minutes to touchdown, Commander Pam Melroy has taken over the flight of the Space Shuttle Discovery, flying at 600 miles per hour at an altitude of 44,000 feet. Three minutes to touchdown, Discovery flying around the heading alignment circle. On at the 180. Copy, on at the 180. With 180 degrees to go, Discovery flying at 500 miles per hour at an altitude of 24,000 feet under the command of astronaut Pam Melroy. Pilot George Samka continuing the flight of the Space Shuttle Discovery around the heading alignment circle. Discovery Houston on at the 90. Copy on at the 90. Two minutes to touchdown. This view from the heading the heads-up display as Commander Pam Mulroy continuing now to fly around the heading alignment cylinder. Houston Discovery, runway in sight. Copy, field in sight. Discovery flying at 390 miles per hour at an altitude of 11,000 feet, one and a half minutes to touchdown. Discovery is descending toward the runway at the correct rate and is lined up with the center of the runway, flying at 370 miles per hour at an altitude of 7,000 feet. One minute to touchdown. Discovery's descent rate is 20 times higher and 7 times steeper than a commercial airliner on the final approach. Discovery's landing gear is down and locked in place. Main gear touchdown. Commander Pam Melroy is rotating the nose gear down to the runway and nose gear touchdown.
Discovery is rolling out on runway 33 at the Kennedy Space Center, wrapping up a 6.25 million mile mission. Discovery completing its 34th mission to space and the 23rd shuttle flight to the International Space Station. Happy wheel stop, Discovery. Congratulations on a tremendous mission and a great landing, Pam. And we'll meet you on page 5-3 with no deltas. Copy all. Space Shuttle Discovery and Commander Pam Milroy have brought home Clay Anderson after nearly 152 full days in space leaving astronaut Dan Taney on board the International Space Station to continue construction work with the Expedition 16 crew and the new Harmony module that Discovery delivered. The Expedition 16 crew on board the station uh, just uh, informed as well that the spatial discovery has returned to Earth and safely landed at the Kennedy Space Center. ET umbilical doors are coming open. Copy that, Zambo, and we're watching. Copy that. We, 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 we do loud and clear.